Vogue, it's Aaliyah, and I'm here to show you my guide to a natural full beat. Wouldn't that be nice? I would very much love to be in a Vogue video, but I try my best. Okay, my background is giving. And I even put on this cute satin two-piece set because I feel like it's giving rich and like expensive. And I totally like low-key got a little ready ready before this, but <laughs> Welcome. You're also gonna notice that I'm very much not a natural glowy dewy skin. I'm still stuck in 2016. Anyways, I really do be giving like natural glam on an everyday basis. So let me just show y'all. And we're gonna do it a Vogue Beauty Secret style. Let's start off with skincare. You need to wash the face. I'm using this Hey Bud Hit Refresh Hemp Gel Cleanser. Because the base is the most important part. And if you don't take care of your base, your makeup's not gonna look how it's supposed to look. Yeah, if I were on Vogue, I would very much need a script <laughs> because your girl can ramble and ramble and ramble and ramble. Now for serum, I'm going in with the Beauty of Jishan Light On Serum. I'm really curious as to how this is going to go because your girl can't see. My vision is very blurry when it comes to far away things and i do not have a mirror that i can just hold and keep it up close to me like their setups be looking so strategically set up and mine is just not giving that like i never get ready soon enough i'm really doing this for my audition tape here next we're going in with the eye serum <laughs> i love how i'm just switching from like my actual personality to like eye serum anyways it's from the same brand and it's their revive eye serum now for the most important step that i'm so happy i started incorporating into my routine it's sunscreen very very basic very very common sense yeah i know i missed that part but it's from the same brand and this one's fps spf 50 still need to protect the skin i'm not even gonna lie i feel very much excited <laughs> Is there a reason why people get ready in bathrooms instead of vanities? Like, do people even get ready at vanities anymore? Or is that just me? Can't even cap, I would be the one Vogue's beauty secrets guest that would pull up a drugstore routine. Cause like, period. It works great, okay? And I'm not trying to spend a bag as a four all the time. Once again, from Beauty of Jesus One, I love Korean skincare. It's their Dynasty Cream. And a little bit goes a long way. <laughs> I cannot take myself seriously, I'm sorry. I'm really trying. Feels like I'm trolling with a friend on FaceTime right now. Bring it down the neck as well. Last step, we need to take care of the lips. I exfoliate my lips on a regular basis because it's dry season, like it's cold. But we're gonna go in with some Blizzdex lip balm just to, you know, have our lips moisturized before we add any additional lip products. And that is it for the skincare we can finally get into with the makeup look. Commercial break! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is really not giving Vogue. I'm seeing it now. Dossier Perfumes, so kind partnered with me on today's video but don't click off yet this isn't a regular schmegler sponsor dossier is known for their exquisite fragrances that capture the essence of luxury without breaking the bank whether you're a perfume enthusiast or someone looking to indulge in a new scent experience dossier has something for everyone this month i picked out two new scents and i'm so excited i've been stuck on one specific scent it's the ambry saffron which is inspired by becca hat rouge 540 and that's my signature scent girl but first up we got their woody hyacinth scent it's inspired by Chanel Chanel's Chance perfume, which retails for $135. Every scent comes with its own notes card, and this card states that it's poised with a youthful twist. Okay! Their packaging is so cute, and the bottles are made out of glass. Like, it's heavy, it's luxurious, it's fancy, okay? Oh my gosh. They haven't let me down yet, Fru. Oh my gosh. The second one I got, I actually got it for my mans because obviously, duh, it's not only for girls, it's for men and women. This one is Musky Oak Moss. The Musky Oak Moss is inspired by Creed's Aventus, which retails for $365. Like what? William, I got you something. <laughs> really? I haven't even read it yet. <laughs> Yeah? Oh my goodness. Oh. Uh, oh my goodness. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I've tried so many different perfumes throughout the years and sometimes it's at the point where your girl needs to go to Bath and Body Works because it's expensive to get a good perfume but you can literally get designer scents at the fraction of a price with Dossier. Treat yourself to the luxury that you deserve with Dossier perfumes. I'll have their website linked down below. Use code LEA5 at checkout for a discount and start your fragrance journey today. Let's get back to the Beauty Secrets video. First step to our routine today is primer. I'm using the e.l.f. Luminous Buddy Primer. I love the Hydro Grip but your girl right now 
that and I'm not even gonna lie, I don't have $40 to go spend on a primer right now, okay? So we're gonna use our cute drugstore primer and we're gonna dab it. I heard that this is how you're supposed to do it. So let me give you a Vogue Beauty secret and dab in your primer, okay? <coughs> For brows, I'm going to go in with the Revlon Colorstay Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. My brow routine is really basic. I literally just brush them out and then we're going to fill in the natural shape that's already there. I'm generally happy with the shape of my brows, but you can really switch it up because we're gonna conceal them after and you can play around with that to cover up any imperfections. I can't see. I cannot see. And now we're gonna brush out whatever we filled in to make it less harsh. We're gonna carve out the brows. <coughs> and I go in with the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Warm Sand. And I use this brush, I just flatten it out so that it's easy to work with. Just gonna get a little bit of product on the tip of the brush. I like to use a lighter shade underneath and my skin tone on top. Yeah, I don't have any eyebrow secrets because my eyebrows don't even look related. Now that brows are done, I'm just gonna go in with some setting spray to make my base a little bit slippery so that when I put foundation and concealer on, it's easier to blend out. So I'm going in with the Revolution Makeup Sport Fix Long Lasting Setting Spray. We're just gonna spray the whole face. Mm. Having a fan would be cute. And today's foundation pick is the Fenty Beauty foundation. I use the shade 385. <laughs> LOL. So gross. Like, can you be any less folk? Really, Aaliyah? For real? Anyways, let's start off with one pump. <laughs> I know damn well I'm gonna want more than one pump. One pump is like one cheek. Huh. One cheek, left cheek. Okay. Foundation is all done. Looks like I have no definition in my face, which is what we want. Now for contour, I'm going in with a liquid contour. It's actually a liquid concealer. It does the same thing. It's by Revlon again, and it's the Color Stay 5-in-1 Concealer. And I use it in the shade 80. We're just gonna put it in the key point of where I want contour. A little goes a long way though. All of the next brushes I'm about to use is pretty much Morphe. I'm using this big buffer brush and I'm gonna just spray it with the same setting spray. Same method as the beauty blender, just punch your face. Next step is liquid blush. I'm going in with one of my favorites. It's by Rare Beauty in the shade Love. I'm just gonna put it above the contour and like in the outer corners of my face. A little goes a long way. The way I looked like a clown the first time I put this on my face. You go Selena. You go Selena. Base is looking cute, but we're not done. We're gonna go back in with the Born This Way Too Faced Concealer, and we're gonna conceal our face. This is definitely a beauty secret. Okay, we're gonna take out the setting spray again, and spray our face in this stage. Yep, I said it. Yep, just do it. Be generous. Actually, one of my little tips and tricks. Get your setting powder ready. I'm going in with the One Size Translucent Setting Powder in the shade Sweet Honey. I want to avoid creases as much as possible, and I find it easier to go in, start blending, and then go right back in and set it, like, right away. are officially faking. I have oily skin. Well, combination skin, but I'm super oily in my T-zone. I tend to bake my entire face pretty much because of that. But here's where it gets a little bit ratchet. Surprise. We're going in with this Morphe palette and I'm going in with one of the dark browns as my bronzer. Yeah. I feel like that's a pretty good secret because not everyone like knows that you can put eyeshadow on places other than your eyes. Obviously, like you have to be gentle with it because eyeshadow is super pigmented. And once again, girl, you see the blush shade. I know you see her. Once again, super pigmented, but it's blush. Like, who really cares? Looking bronzed up. Now I'm going in with this fluffy brush, and I'm just going to wipe away all of the leftover bake. Now let's go ahead with a makeup wipe. Just gonna take the makeup off my lips, and we're going in with our last setting spray. Now I'm gonna go back in with some lip balm because my lips are dang dry. Since I lost my lip liner, I'm going to repurpose this rare, <laughs> repurpose. I'm gonna reuse this liquid blush, and I'm gonna just put a little tap on my lip right here. That's like a little lip tint in itself. On top of that, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Butter Gloss. I used to not put anything on my lips, like literally nothing except for lip balm. And I found that it looked kind of weird with like a full face of makeup on. I don't know, that might just be me. I'm still stuck in the extremely long lashes era. I also have pretty wide eyelids. I do plan on moving past that slowly, just not yet. My friend gives me these lashes. They are the Meredith Duxbury collab with, I don't know who it's with, but it's in the style Angel Eyes. 
here's the final look i hope you enjoyed my guide to a natural full be it girl makeup i hope y'all got ready with me so the most basic look and i'm so sure you'd love to recreate oh my emails are hungry and you get going that's it for today's video don't forget to subscribe i'm watching you it's free girl like what's stopping you anyways thank y'all for sticking around with me i love you so much